How are you mga katami? Today, let's cook pansit bihon kisado the best and simple way. Listed are our ingredients. I started the process by frying kick yam, squid ball, and fish ball. This is optional but this definitely adds to the flavor of pancit bihon. Then next, on the same pan, I fry pork meat. If you're not eating pork, you can use chicken or beef, or you may also use prawns or shrimps for this recipe. Rabbit meat is as well good alternative. On the same pan, saute onion. Then add garlic and saute it also. Add ground black pepper. Then I added chicken liver. I transferred to bigger casserole because I was able to use only small skillet, so that's why. I then added soy sauce. And oyster sauce. Add approximately 3 to 4 cups of water. Add additional soy sauce and water if needed. Add the chopped green beans and chopped carrots. Then add the pancit bihon or the noodles. Add the chicharo or the sugar peas. Then add the chopped bell pepper. Then add the kinchai or the Chinese parsley. Then add cabbage. Mix them all and simmer until the vegetable and the noodles are cooked. Add more oyster sauce if needed. Aside from the meat, you can also put squid or shrimp if you want, if you have more budget. Then lastly, let's add toppings to this. So I added the fried kikyam and squid ball. I actually uh, left few of the toppings because some of them I mixed them already and now this one is done when there is birthday or special occasion pancit is really present to the Filipino Filipino dish or a uh, table during this event I actually added as well pork skin as part of the toppings of this delicious pancit bihon. Thank you very much again for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.